Hello everyone, it's Yvonne here to do the weekly reading for the lovely sign of Capricorn. Okay, let's see what's going on for Capricorn. Firstly, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. If you're new here and you've come over from TikTok, welcome. Um, if you are interested in personal readings with me, um, life coaching, etc. Everything is in the box below, or you can visit my page at the Aussie Goddess or my webpage at the Aussie Goddess. All right. Remember the readings are general, though. That means that they may not resonate with you, they may not be your reading. Alright, we're going to use the Gilded Tarot for your reading and we have the Two of Swords coming straight out. The Two of Swords is a card that talks about a decision that needs to be made, but it's something that's got you in a bind here. You're in a stalemate. When we have a decision to make or, or two options, two opportunities, moving forward in a different way, whatever it is for you, if you don't have all the information, it's very difficult to make a solid decision. But in this particular energy, you're either refusing to make a decision or finding excuses as to not to take a decision because you're blindfolded, which says to me you're either blindfolded to a truth or blindfolded to a direction that you need to go in. The Two of Swords is very much this energy of a stalemate. All right, so you have a brand new opportunity coming through. And I feel like here, maybe the decision is whether to take the opportunity or whether not to not take an opportunity. Because you have all of the information here with this Ace of Pentacles. Somebody is offering you a brand new start here. This could be in regards to your finances. It could be in regard to love. But you're stuck making the decision. It could be that this particular decision is difficult to make because it takes you out of a comfort zone. Maybe it's something that you're being given that means you need to move into a new state, move into a new energy. And maybe this is what sort of got you in this stalemate energy. But something here is creating an energy of stuckness. Okay, there's confusion. There's confusion. Either you don't trust the offer. You're not really seeing what's being offered. Perhaps you feel like it isn't a bit, it's a bit of an illusion or perhaps you feel like you're deluding yourself by trying to move forward on something. This is why it's confusing you though. Okay, you could be getting an offer here from a cancer. But what I see with the chariot card is an inability to move forward at this time because you need to make some sort of decision here. So perhaps for some of you, you've been offered a relationship or you've been offered a commitment here with this Ace of Pentacles, but you're not moving forward here. Why are you not moving forward? Okay, so we have the judgment card coming through. Oh, wow, look at this. What beautiful energy. Somebody wants a second chance with you. Somebody wants a second chance. Somebody's telling you this. They are telling you that they, oh my goodness, have a look at that. Somebody feels very passionate. They want to offer you a new start here. But there is something they need to go through before they can move forward. Okay, so, oh, beautiful. Somebody wants to offer you marriage, long-term commitment here. But this person, could be a Scorpio, is not ready yet. They cannot move forward here with this death card because there's something else they need to transform first. This person is going to speak a truth to you. They want to be with you. They want to, they want to have a second chance. They want to rebuild with you here. But for some reason, they cannot move forward at this time. Why? And this is what's confusing. This is why you're unsure here. Maybe this person is asking you to wait until they've done something in their own life to get things going. Maybe this person has got you in this stalemate because they're asking you to wait for them. 
but there's three aces in this mini read. There are three aces here, but you're not trusting. All right, let's see why. Why are you confused by this offer? Okay, so you could be dealing with someone who's significantly fire in their chart. This is a king of wands. This is a person who is very much a leader. They are very powerful. They may be very attractive. They're certainly charismatic. This person wants something with you. They're offering you something here. But for some reason, you don't want to move forward. Now, there's a possibility here that someone new could be offering you something, but you don't want to move forward because you're waiting on something from your past. This person is maybe everything you've looked for in someone. But I feel like you've got an option here. Let's see where we're going. Okay, so there's abundance here. The hanged man is here. This really tells me you're stuck. With the seven of swords, maybe you don't trust where the offer's coming from. Maybe you don't trust yourself to take an offer. Maybe you're unsure here. I have to get, yeah, look, the moon. Well, that says it all for me. Five of swords. You're considering whether to walk away or take the offer here. That is the two of swords energy. You don't trust what's being offered. You don't trust what's being offered here. There's a feeling here. I want to go a little deeper though because there's a feeling here this is what you wanted. There's a feeling here that you see this as a great opportunity that you've wanted. But for some unknown reason you're not trusting it. Something is not known with the moon. Again, Pisces, Cancer energy. We have the High Priestess coming through. Wow, with the Fool card. Someone's offering you a brand new start and look at you. Eight of Swords energy. Why are you unsure of this offer? If it's somebody offering you a new start and you're still waiting on somebody from your past here, I get that. that I get that you may be unsure that you can make it work. Because I feel like for some of you here, there's some sort of past energy holding you back. So it's like you are focused on something from the past. Let's have a look. All right. You have a decision to make that's left you in a stalemate. Somebody's offered you a long-term commitment, but there's confusion here about whether to move forward or not. I feel like there's some sort of past energy here that is holding you back from making this decision. Some sort of transformation needs to take place so you can move forward. There's marriage here. So for some of you, you may, be, been, you may have been offered marriage from somebody. Now this could be somebody from your past because we do have the judgment card here. And either you're not, I'll get some more cards to clarify. Either you're not trusting somebody from the past making an offer, but I feel like this person may be asking you to wait or to hold out for them. And you're not really sure whether you want to do that. For others of you, somebody new may have made an offer, but somehow or another you're still stuck in this past energy here. Not really being sure whether you want to take on a new opportunity or whether you want to wait for something. That's what I feel. I feel like you've got two people here. All right, I'm going to get some clarification. I feel like somebody's, somebody's come in to offer you abundance with the Ace of Pentacles, but you're still waiting on a truth from the past. That's what it feels like to me. All right, let's have a look what's going on. Let's dig deep. You're holding on to someone from the past, possibly a cancer here. Somebody that you want a second chance with. Oh, wow. Okay, 
I always say we always read the cards in reverse and I put them in reverse. All right. So we have the nine of wands coming through with the four of cups. There is some sort of pain from the past here that stops you taking a new offer. I feel like you're on a pause here with these two cards. So there's some energy here of feeling you can't move forward because of something that's happened in the past. And it's got you in this sort of energy here of feeling really stuck. I feel like you're being given a new opportunity and the universe is sort of trying to get you to take the new opportunity. But for some reason, you're still feeling like the past will come back here. It's like you don't have the information. You're waiting for information from the past first. All right. I just want to dig in a little deeper. You may be dealing with a Pisces and a Cancer. I have strong Pisces and Cancer energy coming through. So maybe someone new is one of those and someone old is one of those. But that's the energy coming through for me here. All right, so we have a King of Pentacles coming through. There are definitely two people here with the World card. All right, Seven of Pentacles. All right, Queen of Cups. All right, so for some of you here, you're getting an offer from the past. But you're unsure whether to take it for some reason. I feel like this person may be asking you to wait. Or maybe sort of putting some, I want to say promise down. Some sort of energy of a promise, but you don't trust it. I feel that you want to, but there's very much this energy that you're not trusting and that you're stuck on the fence trying to decide whether to take this opportunity or this chance. Maybe this person has done this before. Maybe your previous experiences have you feeling like this won't work. You may have walked away from this person before because they couldn't commit or because they may have left you behind here with this five of swords and this has got you in a stuck place for others of you here i feel like you're being offered this opportunity from somebody new somebody who is ready to offer you abundance those three aces there are absolutely beautiful but i feel like somehow or another there's this energy of perhaps waiting on news from something else before you can move forward but I definitely feel that there are two people in this energy. So whichever one you are, you could be getting an offer from somebody in the present, but being confused as to whether to say yes because of a past energy or somebody from the past offering you something that perhaps you don't trust because perhaps they've let you down before. All right, let's pull an oracle card. Maybe we'll get some more information here. Oh, happy success. All right, that's always good, isn't it? <laughs> Consciousness, eight. Actually, the other card was an eight as well. Oh, happy success. The wish is fulfilled. So I guess at the end of the day, no matter which way you go here, you're about to get a wish come true. That's full stop. Doesn't matter which way you do it here, you're about to get a wish. A man stands in a flowering field with his arms stretched out, happily looking up at the sky. It's raining beautiful gems, silver coins and droplets of bright light. He is clearly filled with joy about the abundant blessings coming his way. Happiness is a choice as it is the consciousness of success. When you live in these mental attitudes, it's only a matter of time before you too are showered with the blessings you deserve, desire. This card marks a time of great joy and abundance for you. This may be in the form of expanding wealth, love or business achievements. The promise here is that the wish you've been dreaming about is coming your way. So open up to the success in your heart and to the happiness already in your life and get ready for much more to come. So pretty much this is answering your question. 
If you're stuck on the fence and not sure which way to go, it doesn't matter which way you go, a wish is coming through for you. So something is going to make you extremely happy here, Capricorn. Thank you.